Okay, I'm going to show how I'm going to put a go-kart sprocket onto a starter motor. Now, what we've got to remember is that this go-kart sprocket was not designed to fit on a starter motor. And the other thing is this this uh, the shaft on on this starter motor, this mod this modified starter motor, hasn't got a keyway. So I've got to find another way to ensure that the go kart sprocket uh, is is synchronous or or turns together with the shaft. Now the starter motor had one of these things, which I don't know what it's had one of these things, which I don't know what it's called, but it's got these grooves in there, and these grooves grip. Or they can they can grip into into the shaft, and if if you hold it in place, you can actually make they can actually turn together with the shaft. So decided to get the go kart sprocket and weld it onto whatever you call this thing. Now also note the go kart sprocket cannot. Uh, does not fit over this these grooves here, so that means when it's welded, uh, when it's when this is welded together to whatever that thing's called, it can't go further than than this position. So the only thing I have to worry about afterwards is making sure that it can't go, it can't it can't uh, come off here, that it can't uh, come out of come off the shaft there. And the way I do that is I pack them with washers and then put a circlip to hold it in position. So sprocket and whatever that thing is called, weld it together and I get this. So this one's already already welded it. And all I've got to do is put the sprocket on. Pack the washers in, and then I just got to put the circlip on. Okay, I've eventually got the circlip on. Now, as you can see, the circlip has these two little holes there, and normally you get like a special tool which goes into those holes, spreads it apart, allows you to put the circlip into the into the into the groove, you withdraw the tool, circlip closes up again, and it stays in position, and which keeps the sprocket. In this case, will keep the sprocket uh, and all the other and, and the washers in in uh, in position. I realize you probably see it is a bit it is a bit a bit loose here. But uh, this is a prototype, so we'll see how we how we go. Uh, I wasn't able to find any any washers that were slightly thicker than this. And if I put another washer in there, then it would have it would have uh, wouldn't have been able to put the circlip on. So uh, we'll see we'll see how we go. Okay, I've hooked up my hooked up the jumper leads to the battery. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly test that it turns in one direction so and yes it does and we'll reverse the polarity and being a permanent this, this being a permanent magnet uh, DC motor brushed one it should turn the other way and yes it did So yeah, that's another motor built, and yeah, it all seems to work, so yeah, pretty happy with it.